Hey, so I finally got around to making a video for Retrobat and Sega Shihiro. Now, the reason I've not actually uploaded one of these videos for this system is that it's just so damn difficult to emulate. Plus, obtaining the files and everything else, it's been a bit of a headache. But here we go, and people's been asking for a video for this for a while, so I've done my best. And things are a little bit confusing with this system, admittedly. Now, if we head over to the Retrobat wiki, just here we can see Shahiro and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly if we just scroll down we're gonna find just here it says no BIOS required for Shahiro and if we scroll down just a bit further we should find at the bottom just here that is asking us to download Serbios firmware and we need to rename it to Serbios.bin now it's very strange because right at the top it actually says we don't actually require BIOS and normally with these systems firmware and BIOS are pretty much the same thing now going back to the file extension types as we can see just here .xbe and .iso now now, I've got a couple more games in ISO and that was a triumph in actually obtaining those but we got them nevertheless. Now Shihiro is actually supported by the original Xbox or OG Xbox emulator Zemu as we can see just here. We also got CXBX which is another OG Xbox emulator and we've got Shihiro emulation itself which is actually the old CXBX reloaded version. So if we scroll down just a touch more, we got some more information and it tells us very easily just to place the games within the ROMS Shihiro folder. As we can see just here, it's asking us for a game with these types of files. And that's exactly what I was saying just a minute ago. They've been an absolute pain to find. So this is the best I've got just here. These are ISO games. So I've got OutRun 2. And if I just highlight this one, Outrun 2 Beta Xbox OG. And as everybody will say, this system is pretty much Xbox in the first place. So really, you're probably better off playing Xbox. But anyways, we're going to set this one up and it's fairly easy to do. If I right click on the Retrobat shortcut, go down to Open File Location. We're going to go down to ROMs. Now, if you don't see this particular folder, please update Retrobat to the latest version. I've had a lot of people commenting actually recently saying they don't see things which I'm seeing. And it's normally the case of literally just updating Retrobat. So just make sure you update. Here's my folder then, Shihiro. If I double left click, I'm going to drag and drop both of those games inside. And then we're going to boot up Retrobat. Okay, before I go any further, I'm going to just say which theme I'm using just here. A couple of people asked recently which theme this is. If I go down to user interface settings, it's actually CCAB book, and that's my personal favourite theme for Retrobat. But anyways, let's get on with Shihiro. So we should find it now in the list somewhere. And here we go then, so we got Shihiro and here's our games. Now what we're going to do first of all is just take a look at the options here. If I hold on to the A button, that's going to give us some options for this game and this game only. If I go to advanced game options, emulator, as we can see just there and as it said on the Retrobat website, we got various different forms of emulation here to run these games. I'm going to personally leave this to auto and it should run through Shihiro. If we scroll downwards, we got a guns option. We've also got video option just there. So before I start the game, of course, we're going to need some artwork. So I'm going to open up the main menu, go to scraper, and I'm going to go to systems included. And we got Shihiro just there, which is already checked for us. If I go to back and I go to scrape. Okay, so we go to game settings and update game list and yes. Okay, cool. So we got Ghost Squad, and it looks like Outrun isn't downloading any artwork. We can edit that file name. But anyways, we're not here for scraping artwork as such. We're going to open up Outrun 2 first. So the first thing you're likely going to see is the emulator for Hero is not installed. I'm going to just press on yes.
Okay, so as it stands, this is automatic. As it stands, my Xbox controller is working perfectly. Get ready. Okay, that looks spectacular. That game always looks spectacular. What I've actually done there is actually increase the internal resolution. So in my case, with the laptop I'm using, it's powerful enough to put this to four times. And as you've seen yourself, it looks stunning. If we go back to something like native, then obviously it's going to show its age a little. But anyway, so next game we got then is Ghost Squad. And like I said at the start of this video, it's very difficult to emulate Chihiro games. If I go to Ghost Squad, And there we go, so we got JVS input output board is not connected to the main board. Now as it said on the RetroBat wiki that we don't actually need any BIOS files for this as such, but it also tells us on the same page that we need firmware. Now the firmware is serbios.bin and if you can find that, well good luck to you. I've tried pretty much everywhere. Now for this particular game, Ghost Squad, Advanced System Options, Emulator, it really doesn't matter which emulator you use with this particular game, it won't work. And like I also said at the start of the video was that Sega Shihiro, it's got a bit of a name for itself in terms of emulation. Most of these games can be emulated through different means such as say Techno Parrot or even the original Xbox. I even think Ghost Squad released on the Nintendo Wii. And that's it for today's Retrobat Sega Shihiro video. So, like I was saying, I wanted to do this video for a long time, but I've been waiting for the moment to actually do it. And the reason I've not done it any sooner is literally because it's just such a pain to actually work these games. But you can see us working with Outrun at least, and really do recommend that game. I'm pretty sure most people have actually played it at this point. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notifications, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content as well as retro gaming documentaries if you're new to the channel i've done loads of retro bat material in the past i'm going to leave a link in the comment section so you can check out both of my retro bat playlists anyways thanks again for watching and until next time stay retro